Good Thing Fitness fam. I'm Yanka, your Christian fitness trainer, and um, today's declaration is based on Psalms 103, um, I think it's verses 2 through 4, and it's one of my favorite. And the thing I want to do is encourage you to really speak and meditate this word, because, you know, as I look, I've worked in the fitness industry for, I think, close to 20 years, You're somewhere I've been in there for a long time, and the missing piece is God. The missing piece is um, training your spirit, training your soul. Because the scripture says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And it's the word of God that changes your mind and transforms your soul and therefore your body. And if you've ever read any of the work by Dr. Um, what's her name? Dr. Caroline Leaf. And she talks about the um, mind-body connection and how the soul influences the, your actual body. Your thoughts become things in your brain and your brain produces sickness or wellness in the body. So it's very important to you know, think on the things. Last week, we um, meditate, the meditation or the declaration for the week was based on uh, Philippians 4, 8, which tells you to think on things that are good, honest, true, and of a good report. And so this actually takes a little bit further, you know, that you need to understand that God did not give us disease and sicknesses um, for our body. That's not his best for us. So th this week's declaration is, Bless the Lord, my, oh, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all my iniquities, who heals all my diseases, who redeems my life from destruction, who crowns me with loving kindness and tender mercies. And I really, really like that verse. I remember um, a few years back, I was going to this Bible study. And me and this lady, we became really good buddies. She was like 85 or something. And she was, she, um, was diagnosed with some kind of cancer in her, when she was 50, she said. And, you know, I asked her because you see like some people seem to make it and some people don't. And, I, and that's the part that I looked at. You know, there was a missing piece here. Um, you have people who they look fit, you know, they exercise. And, but some of them, you know, they drop dead. I knew a lady, I worked in this gym. And, you know, she was ran a race that weekend and, and dropped dead. And I saw that, you know, with a few people, they look absolutely fit. But there was a missing piece. And I did not know what it was. And I set out to, um, discuss, um, to find out what that was. And so this lady was telling me, I said, you know, how did you beat the cancer? She said, I um, found this verse in Psalm, you know, in the book of Psalms. And she said, every time I felt the fear of it, I would just say this verse. She was declaring something. I would say it and I would say it until I felt peace about it. And she kept having to do it sometimes, you know, 20, 30, 40 times a day. And then, you know, after doing that for so, so long, that um, disease, that cancer went away and it never returned. So here she was. She had this disease at 50. It um, went away and it went into remission, whatever. It actually got eradicated because it never came back. She was 85 when I was talking to her then. So that's the, an example of the importance of meditating the word. You have natural facts, which she did have cancer. That was a fact. That was a natural physical fact. But then you have spiritual truth. And the spiritual truth is, with uh, by his stripes, I am healed. That's the truth. And you have to meditate that so the physical can line up with the spiritual. So... I encourage you to go ahead and declare and meditate that word. That's what um, God told Joshua in um, Joshua 1a. He said, you keep this word, this book of the law before your eyes and you meditate it to make your way successful. And so that's for whatever area in life. This is the way you find success. So as I said, ladies, thanks for joining me. Um, make sure you're declaring and you're meditating this word so you can get it from your head to your heart. Um, do me a favor, like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.